So, what's up, Duelist? My name's Inshiny5, and I'm here to bring you guys a live stream uh, commentary slash uh, fun discussion story about my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience. And I was just going to tell my, my viewers this on my stream. So, you guys will be able to see their stream chat on the right-hand side of this video while this duel plays in the background of, of Heroes. So, anyway, so, I was going to tell you guys a story about how I got my very first God card. And it's kind of a funny slash sad story, and it's kind of mean on my part, but it's kind of pathetic on another kid's part. So, I want to say I was in like the 5th, 6th, or 7th grade, somewhere around there. I want to say I was maybe like the 5th or 6th grade. And I, we would play, like certain days we would be able to play after school, because I went to a private school for years when I lived in the Bay Area in California. And we would play Yu-Gi-Oh! after school, typically on Fridays, because that's the day we got out or early. And we would play outside, and not really like a daycare, but it was like an aftercare, like a, a program where it was kind of like daycare after school, where you would wait until your parents or whoever was picking you up. And my parents never picked me up. I, I would get a ride with a, a neighbor of mine that worked at the school. But I remember I played this kid named Jasper, and I think he was like in the third grade, second or third grade back then. And that's when Yu-Gi-Oh was in like, I want to say it was like 2004, 2005, probably 2005. And... I want to say that this kid it was a little, you know, it was a little cool kid, little curly-headed kid. His name was Jasper, and I remember his name very distinctly. And I was very huge on playing for cards because that's something that just people did, and a lot of the older kids did, and I loved doing it. And a lot of the adults did it as well. And I played this kid for cards. I eventually pressured him into playing for cards, and I don't want to say I, I didn't hustle him, but I asked him to play for cards, and I told him I'd give him my whole deck. If I if he put up his slifer for the Sky Dragon, which was like the GB1 secret rare slifer for the Sky Dragon, I think. And he played me for it, and I 2-0 clapped him. Gave him the D, the absolute D, right? So a couple days go by, like two days go by, right? I'm sitting at home in the evening. It was probably like a Thursday evening or whatever, or a Tuesday evening, maybe like after the weekend. And I get a phone call at home. You know, my mom's watching TV. I'm just chilling in my room. Uh, I come outside to the living room to pick up the phone. I pick up the phone, and I go, hello, mask is calling, or whatever, right? Like, hello, um, and answer the phone. And it turns out that this kid, Jasper, was crying to his mother, and his mother called my household. She looked me up in the, in the school directory, and she's like, hey, is this Alexander, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm Jasper's mother, and... You know, he's been crying for a couple days, and he told me that he played you, or, you know, he gave you a card, or he played you for a card, and he's been crying, and I wanted to know, could you give it back to him, because we bought it for him, blah, 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 and I'm sitting there, you know, I'm like a little, like, snob, not really snobby, but I'm being like a little turd, I'm like, you know, I played him for it, though, we, we agreed, you know, it was a deal that I, he would give me his card if I beat him, and if I, if he beat me, I would give him my deck, and... He, this kid, oh my god, I felt, you know, I felt bad at the same time, but I wasn't, like, I didn't have the mature mindset to realize, you know, like, oh my god, I just hustled this little seven or eight year old kid for a card that his parents probably paid, like, 30 or 40 dollars for, for, like, a birthday or a Christmas present or, you know, whatever, and I guess this kid was crying to his mom, and she was like, can you give it back to him, and to be honest with you, to this day, I would be lying if I told you I knew what happened because I don't remember if I gave it back to him. I think I told his mother that I would and he never wanted the kids. The kid asked for it back and I um, I think I forgot to bring it or something like one of the days like I didn't have my cards or whatever like a, like a couple weeks later when I saw him again. But I don't I think he said he didn't want it because his parents just bought him a new one. So I think I got to keep it. But I don't remember having a slifer long after that. So I think I actually ended up giving it back. Um, but I think I gave it back to him like a couple months later. Because um, I think I think we uh, I think we were on the track system at this time at this private school. I think I was I was going to a school where it was like a track system. So I think I gave it back to him, but I didn't give it back to him directly. I gave it to him like his, his older brother who's in my class, and he gave it to him to my knowledge. So um, moral of the story: don't play little kids for cards. It's mean. Um, I know it seems like an easy way to come up. Um, I was immature at the time, and I didn't really think it through. I mean, I was like a, probably like a little 9, 10-year-old kid, maybe 11, um, and I played a little kid for cards. So 
<laughs> no, and I see the Twitch people are saying I was 18 when this happened. No, I was not 18 when this happened. Um, I don't think I would ever be wanting to play someone for a Sly for the Sky Dragon. Um, but yeah, so don't play Little Kids for Cards. That is the story of how I got my first God card. And now that I think about it, I did give the Slifer back. Um, and shortly after that, the first God card I got was a fake Obelisk, the Tormentor. And then eventually I got a Winged Dragon of Raw. And then I got an Obelisk. Or, and then I got a Slifer. And then finally I got an Obelisk. So, did you guys ever get the God cards as kids? Or, you know, when you were younger? Let me know. I'd love to hear that down below in the description of this video. Um, I think it's something fun and different for you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying live streams. I'm just trying to live stream a little bit more the last couple days, maybe even tomorrow, New Year's Eve, uh, if I get the chance. I probably won't be able to, but if I do get the chance, I'll do it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic New Year's. And uh, those of you that are in the stream, we'll get back to live streaming and enjoying these duels and playing. So uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Inch95. I'll see you guys in my next video. And uh, peace out, guys.